Neiman is back in the mix. So at plus 1800, there are four other guys with better odds, including the favorite Sunjay M at plus 1000. So Jeff, who stands out to you from these top guys? Well, I mean, it's it's pretty clear. I mean, the the uh, the, the guy who's going to win this oh. week stands out. It's Louis Ustazen. Oh. I mean, he's he's taken a week off. Uh, he started his his season last week with the, with a T14, gained strokes throughout the bag there. And yeah, you can joke all you want, Emerson. I can hear you chuckling in the background. But who wins? Who who typically is is the people who come through at the Honda Classic? It's savvy veterans, Matt Jones. Um, you know, guys like Podrick Harrington, good Open Championship players. Jeff Ogilvy has a win here. Adam Scott. Louis has the the around the green game to, to deal with the bunkers here. He's hit it very well in his last three starts. He's gaining strokes off the tee again. I really do think this is a very good shot for him to get it done. And, and if we're looking at the top, I think there's question marks around all the players. You know, except you can make a case for Billy Horschel, but I'm not really a big Billy Horschel guy at plus 1800. I'd rather take a shot with my guy, uh, Louis, at plus 1600 this week. I mean, if Tom Hoagie and Scotty Scheffler can win on the PGA Tour, your guy can win on the PGA Tour. Appreciate that. And Hudson Swafford. Yeah. yeah. Can't forget that guy. Jason, a couple of guys in that top group, Daniel Berger, Tommy Fleetwood. How do you feel about these guys? Yeah, so I love Louis Ustays, and if you're betting on a guy to come in second place. <laughs> He's never won in the yeah. United States. He's been doing this for 15 years. At some point, there's just no win equity to take Louis for a victory. I, I do think it happens at some point, but boy, you've lost a lot of money for a really long time if you keep betting on Louis <laughs> to get the win. From this top tier, I, look, I hate to go chalk, but it's the guy at the top, Sung J.M., Won this tournament two years ago, last year a tie for eighth place. He's in the top 10 on the PGA Tour this year, not only in strokes gain T to green, which is important every single week. It's good to get your ball uh, as close to the green as you possibly can. And uh, Sungjae is a, a premier ball striker, but he's also, I believe, second right now on the PGA Tour in strokes gained around the greens. I love the combination of being a good ball striker, but there are times you're going to miss a PGA National. Very difficult golf course. When you do miss, you've got to be able to get it up and down for par. Sungjae is world-class at doing that. And so he's the favorite for a good reason. I don't know that I'm going to dip down and bet him at that number, but if I had to take one of those top five or six guys on the board this week, he's my guy.